everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now my name is Liz and I post mainly beauty related content on my channel. I absolutely adore makeup, beauty, all of that type of thing. So if that's the kind of channel you like, please subscribe down below. So in this video, I am going to be testing Tammy's new range. Now, I'm super, super excited for this range. And as you can tell, by this look, I absolutely adore Tammy and adore her launch. This was a really needed launch at this moment because I feel like I've been waiting for something from Tammy. Like she's gone quiet on what she was creating and I'm absolutely in love with this launch. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, stay tuned. Okay, starting off with the eyeshadow palette. I am extremely excited for this thing. This is got 28 shades of eyeshadows. You can see here what the shades are. Also the packaging, I love Tammy's packaging, oh, the first eyeshadow palette was my absolute fave. Now this was £20 and I'm always a bit hesitant when it comes to spending £20 on an eyeshadow palette from Revolution, but this is Tammy and I had to spend £20 on it, because look at that, look. It's amazing and I love the colour layout, I love everything about it, it's got a huge mirror which if we just turn that around, look at that. It's like, it's got a lovely array of like neutrals that you can use. Um, and then you've got your pops of colors, you've got some shimmers. It's like one row of neutral, one row of shimmers, and it just goes on like that. And it's just my favorite thing ever. And this shade here, Eclipse in the corner, it's just screaming my name. Cause it's not a black, it's like, a really dark I don't know like, it's a brown with like purple undertones to it it looks incredible and that was super soft to swatch so I'm gonna swatch this whole palette for you because why not I bought the whole collection now I know that the face palettes are for like deep deep dark skin tones but it's Tammy I had to buy the whole collection so yeah let's get straight into the eyeshadows and then we'll get into the rest of the face. So here is the first row, you swatch it straight against you, you turn it around and it goes wonky. But the first row is full of your neutral warm tone shadows and I absolutely love it, they're very pigmented, very soft. So yeah, there's the first row. Now here is the second row and these shades are a bit more of a creamier formula. But again, they have swatched, look at that hit the light. And this glitter is amazing. I feel like the second row has more of your creams. This orange one is definitely like a shimmer, but some of these are more creamier. And this is the third row, which is much more brighter than the first row. As you can see, there's, see, there's a lot of pops of colors. You've got your yellow, orange, pink, green, your blues, and like a forest green and a darker, I feel like that's a darker purple colour and yeah and now this is the third row it's got the two glitters you can't really see that colour but then you've got some nice shimmer shades down here but this shade down here that's the first shade I swatched and I've got to incorporate that into my look somehow I'm not sure how but I need that colour in my life so I've got the P Louise base on as usual and I want to dive straight in and the first thing I want to do is lay down the transition colour. Let's go for this shade here called Dusk. Quite nicely pigmented. Then I want to take this shade called Sunrise just below that. Just want to blend that yellow shade out again. Make sure that shade is still there and vibrant. Now I'm really feeling this shade here called True Love, which is like a, a purple but like a pinkish undertone one. And I want to take that again just below. I really want to build up this crease because I'm not sure if I'm doing a cut crease or if I'm going to do a halo eye. But yeah, this palette is crazy pigmented. Like Everything is just working together blending seamlessly like there's a bit of fallout in the pan but if you tap it off there's no fallout anywhere else you know I'm feeling like a spotlight eye 
think that would be the best thing because then I can use one of those glitter shades over the top. And I think for that I'm going to go in with, do you know what, let's try Sunset because I usually do like a gold halo eye. So let's try the Spotlight Eye using, oh, that looks so good, Sunset. I'm just going to use my finger for now. I'm glad I chose Sunset, it is a lovely, lovely colour. I love all the names to this. Then I'm going to take this shade Firefly, which is the glitter shade on my lid. I'm not sure how to apply this if we're going to need glitter glue. I might just press it on with my finger and hope for the best. It's more green, maybe try Starlight, which is a white. Just for a little bit of glitter, I don't want too much. And go back in with True Love and blend out the edges very lightly. And under the brow bone I'm going to go in with Glow which is like a lovely gold shade. And because it's a cream I need a really flat brush. For my base I'm actually going to go in with FX6 of the Liquid Foundation. So it's the Double Fix Foundation by XX Revolution because I had the shade 5.7 it was just way too pale for me so I'm going to go with this shade which is F8 is usually my normal shade so I'm hoping FX8 is going to be my shade in this otherwise I'm not buying another one that's two now and they're £15 so yeah I'm going to do that do my base and come back when we can bronzer and use the face palette. As you can see I need a bit of bronzer and I have the bronzing, well the face palette in deep. I also have deep dark. Okay I'm not going to use that on my face because it would be way too dark for me but you know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to use that as eyeshadow or something but look at that. You've got a highlight, you've got a lovely blush a bronzer which hopefully I can get away with and a contour now I don't contour so that would just probably be something I never use unless I'm using it look at that so that is the deep palette and I'm just gonna go straight in with a bit of bronzer and I'm gonna use that shade bronze goddess and I'm gonna take the tiniest amount and see how that works oh that is really pigmented I'm gonna put some on my hand and then start bronzing up my face. Sorry, the door went, but that does look really good on my forehead. So I'm just going to try it as a bronzer on my cheek. I'm going to take a tiny bit of the blush as well. Oh, it's super pigmented. A proper tiny bit. And now time for the highlight. And this is in the shade Paradise Glow, which I know this will suit me because I use so many highlights of this shade anyway. And this is a proper gold highlight. Sometimes I find that the gold highlights have a bit of sh more champagne to them than they do gold and this has a lot of gold to it for me and it diffuses beautifully i'm actually going to put it in the inner corner of my eye as well time to go back into the eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna recreate what i did in the crease under my lash line so i'm gonna start off with the purple and then i'm gonna go lighter so i'm gonna go purple which was true love then i'm gonna go into the orange which was sunrise and the yellow which is dusk and I've already got the highlight in my inner corner, but I might just put a little bit of sunrise over the top of that to make it pop. And then we'll get into the lips. Now on to lips, which I am super excited for. We have a lip trio which has the glory lip liner which you know i have used this in the past i used to use this all the time on nights out it's a wicked liner then you get two of the sheer glosses and you get the shade muse which i own this in the lipstick because of tammy already it's an absolute gorgeous like shade so this is muse and i'll actually swatch this shade for you look how rich that is so these are in the formula um the sheer formula 
so they're basically lip glosses and then we have gone rogue and i actually own this in the lipstick as well which is that one there these are so pigmented i can see why she chose to do a trio like this and then the lip liner is there i would have loved it if she came out with her own liquid lipstick or no lipstick or lip gloss or something but then i kind of guess if revolution already are doing your favorite then you might as well come out with your own lip kit and they are absolutely stunning now i am going to go with this shade here muse because i know i love it and yeah i absolutely love muse the darker the better for me today because i love that 90s dark nude on me it it just i just love it so i'm gonna do that and then do my eyelashes and come back with my final thoughts and we can swatch the last face palette for some of you out there that that might suit you because i'm actually glad that i could get away with this deep dark of uh, the deep face palette just with a lighter hand and the blush was incredible so yeah let me go away finish off the last few bits and come back with my final thoughts okay guys this is it this is the final look and i am super super in love with this it is very the lips is very me the eyes is very not me if you've watched my channel you know i just like to keep it simple on my eyes but i must admit i love it i'm not in love with this foundation it's just really enlarged my pores which is annoying but i'll keep trying it different primers different ways and see how i like it but for now if there's little like holes in my skin it's from that bloody foundation but let's just swatch the face palette first this is the one in deep dark now tammy did say that the dark um face palette has the palm trees on the other side so you can tell the difference um so this is deep dark this one i'm keeping as because i do feel like i could use the highlight i probably won't be able to use if i can get it out anything else like that would be way too dark for me but why don't oh look at that hit the light now i love the fact that there is palm trees in every face palette the eye palette everything there is a palm tree in which is screaming so there you go there is the deep dark um, face palette and you know there's like little glitter particles on the top corner here now I'm sure everyone's probably wondering why did I buy the deep dark palette why did I even buy the deep dark palette well as you can see I wanted to support Tammy and her launch is amazing and I did get away with the dark palette so this will probably be like an eyeshadow palette I probably will use that highlight definitely but the rest of it I'm absolutely in love with the palette I love this palette this palette is definitely worth 20 pound like she said it was a bit more sleek it's got a huge mirror it's got these lovely shades it's got palm trees imprinted in the shadows which is a win-win and it's like this purpley pink like tropical vibe i love it i absolutely adore the face palettes as you can see i got away with one of the face palettes on my face and the blush is a really not me blush but it's made me want to try it even more so i do love that blush and i love the lip kit i love the packaging for the lip kit and it's it's really sturdy compared to the other like um collaborators like lipstick kind of set this is really really sturdy and i love how like it's just all her brand like everything from all her previous things items look exactly the same they're all on brand and i love this and as you can tell i absolutely love the range so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please smash it a huge thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you next time bye guys